What is up guys, Brody here with another new video. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So what I had ordered just last week um, was something that I've been meaning to order for the longest time and that is brand new projectors, lenses, HID bulbs, and any of the other supporting hardware I needed in order to complete that install. Um, for those of you that know, I have a 2007 STI and you might be wondering, why would you order HID projectors when your car already comes with them from factory? Reason being is my ballasts have actually been crapping out lately where my bulbs just end up flickering out after a few minutes of being on. Uh, and I realized I could just go ahead and replace the ballast, but I decided to do even more than that. Over time, what happens uh, with projectors is they obviously burn out a little bit and the light output will eventually start to fade. And I feel like the light output has been decreasing over the years, seeing the car is like 10 years old. Um, so I figured I might as well replace them as well. From factory, HID projectors usually come with a bit of a frosted lens, and that'll actually decrease a bit of the light output. So in these projectors, they come with a clear lens. So you get a way sharper cutoff and a way brighter light. So. That is just a couple of the reasons why I decided to go ahead and buy brand new projectors and lenses. Um, I'm actually gonna do an unboxing here right now for you. I haven't opened them yet, so I'm pretty pumped uh, to see exactly what I got. As well, what I am doing is I found a local guy in town um, that does retrofits. So I'm actually dropping off my headlights tomorrow to get a retrofit done. The guy that I'm going to is called Mad Dogs Customs. Um, he does a lot of retrofits on trucks but he's definitely done some on cars and he's actually done a few Subarus. So he knows what he's doing and the work that I've seen looks awesome. And to be honest, this is something that I didn't really wanna mess around with. Um, I'm not experienced with this sort of thing. So last thing I wanna do is mess anything up. Um, headlights from the dealer is expensive. So I definitely don't wanna screw them up. Years ago, and if, you, if you've watched any of my videos, you follow me on Instagram, you will see that my headlights right now already do have some black housing inside them. And that is because several years back, I did end up opening up the headlights and I did um, paint the housing black. So that is all I've actually done to them, but I'm gonna get a little bit more done. I'm still deciding on whether or not I wanna do any kind of uh, demon eyes or halos on the headlights. So that part I'm still figuring out. But yeah, my appointment is tomorrow where I'm gonna drop off the headlights and I'm gonna to talk to the fellow there and figure out exactly what I wanna do. So I should have all the lights back within the next week. Um, so I'm pretty stoked to get this done. Anyways guys, let's crack this thing open and see what we got. All right, so start things off. Uh, we got some alcohol wipes, uh, obviously to clean probably like the lens before you put it back together. Nice little pro light sticker, can never go wrong with that. Some extra little packaging. All right, let me show you exactly what we have in here. All right, so right off the bat, I obviously notice the couple big boxes and these are the what I decided to go with was the Morimoto 4TLR by Xenons. Um, so I ordered these projectors and obviously they come with the clear lenses and everything installed. Uh, all the reviews that I was reading on, um, super, super solid set of projectors. And for the price, you really cannot go wrong. So that is what I ordered. I'll actually probably pop the box open and show you the exact projector and lens, um, but I'll do that after. Um, obviously as well. The reason why I also grabbed these adapters with the kit is because these projectors are by Xenon, which means they actually work as both low beam and high beam. So when I flick my high beam lights on, these will actually get brighter. And that's what these guys are for, um, these cables. So I just decided to go ahead and grab some new bulbs as well. Mine still work, but these were a good deal and I decided to grab a pair. These are the Morimoto XB D series bulbs, I guess. Um, reason why I went with these ones actually is I actually got them for a pretty good price. Um, I ordered them in 5,500K. Um, as well, I was actually looking at the Osram bulbs, but I decided to go with these ones because they're like half the price. And from all the reviews I was watching, the, I guess, light intensity and brightness was almost as good as the Osram CBI bulbs. So that is why I decided to go with these, spend half the price and get almost the same quality. So I'm definitely excited to see how these work. 
Um, obviously the other projector in here. And then this is the mounting hardware, I believe, um, for the Subaru. And then here we got a couple um, new ballasts. These are actually the main parts that I needed. Um, these are what will actually make my headlights stay on. As I mentioned before, my ballasts were done. Um, my headlights would flicker out after like two minutes of having them on. So that was getting to be a really big headache. Um, so yeah, these are what will power everything. That is exactly what came in it. Um, let me go ahead and open up one of these projectors just to show you what it looks like. As for like aftermarket projectors, I'm fairly certain they all come with clear lenses. And um, even if you didn't want to upgrade projectors, it's actually not a bad idea to upgrade to clear lenses. Um, if you want to, obviously, I guess they just have a way sharper cutoff and they allow more light to pass through. Um, from factory, I guess most HID projectors come with a frosted lens. So I guess it just probably helps reduce maybe the amount of glare and the amount of bright light shooting through. From factory, they obviously don't want you like blinding uh, other people on the road. But anyways, um, we have a couple little wires here, obviously. I'm no expert, so I'm just gonna give this to the guy and he'll know what to do. But yeah, these are the four TLR projectors. So pretty sweet, really. Um, I was originally going to uh, just upgrade the clear lens, but after researching into it, the amount of work it would take to swap out the lens hardly is worth it. The difference in light output, it would be there if you just swapped out the lens on your current projectors, but it's not gonna be anything insane. You'll definitely notice a difference. However, for the amount of work that's associated with switching them out, I think you're much better off just upgrading the whole projector. Um, what I've been told and from what I've seen, uh, the amount of light output out of one of these projectors with a clear lens is just insane, like so much better than the stock projectors. So definitely happy I went with these and for the price, you cannot go wrong. If you do, if you are interested in any one of these, um, definitely hit up ProLights if you're from Canada. Um, it was super cheap and shipping was free over like, I don't forget what it was, like 50 bucks or something. So um, really, really affordable setup and it's supposed to be pretty awesome. So I'm pretty stoked to get these on. Alrighty guys, so now that I kind of just went over and showed you uh, what I received from ProLights and kind of what I am doing, I need to go ahead and remove the stock headlights out of my car. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now. Um, I need to remove those out so tomorrow after work I can take the lights and the new parts that I got from Pro Lights, and then I can go drop them off the guy who is doing the retrofit for me. Also tomorrow when I drop that stuff off, I'll also end up chatting to him about my options and prices and what I can get done to these headlights. So um, you guys will see the final product probably maybe like a week or so after I upload this video. So hopefully you guys are excited to see the final product. Obviously once I get them, I'll install them and I'll show you guys everything that they do. Uh, and just, I guess, the overall performance increase that I'll get from them. But all I have to do now is go ahead and pop the lights off my car. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. We'll get those off and then we'll be all ready to go for tomorrow. So got the front bumper off. It's a bit of a pain, but I don't remember the last time I took it off. So now I can get to the headlights and it's looking like it's a long time since I took these things out. But there looks like to be a few bolts right here. Um, on the top, there's another bolt clip here. Before you start unplugging anything, definitely make sure to disconnect your battery as always. 
Um, but yeah, um, the only things I think you really need to take off are that bolt, this clip here, um, these couple nuts here, and then these two bolts here. And that is it. And then obviously you can see this headlight I've actually already taken out. Um, same exact thing as on that side. Took it out and then when you pop it out, there's just gonna be the couple connectors holding it in. Just connect those and we'll be good. Boom. Just like that. First headlight is out. As for the back, um, again, just uh, this connector and this connector. So just two connectors that you have to unplug in order to take the headlight out. There you go. Second headlight out. Looking kind of bare now. Great. So, mission accomplished. Got our lights out. Now we can take them to get them retrofitted. Now tomorrow after work, uh, actually right after work, I'll be heading over and dropping these parts off um, so the guy can do the retrofitting. Well, when I take the parts to him tomorrow, I'm gonna go over everything, figure out what my options are, um, figure out what I wanna do for paint, uh, as well if I wanna add any other features like halos or demon eyes. I haven't quite figured all that out, so I'll have a chat with him tomorrow and we'll go over all that, figure out what it's gonna cost. And uh, yeah, but that was really all I wanted to get done today. I will keep you guys posted um, with the progress on the lights. And obviously I'll show you guys the finished product once I go pick them up. Uh, I'm really excited to see the kind of light output that I'm gonna get with these new projectors as well with the finished headlight. Uh, I'm really curious to see what that's gonna end up looking like. But uh, yeah, that's everything that I wanted to do today guys. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, but yeah, if you guys are excited to see what these headlights are gonna look like, uh, as well, the performance factor, definitely smash that thumbs up button. Uh, as well, if you haven't already, definitely hit that subscribe button. Also post my Instagram down in the description below. So if you haven't, definitely go follow me there. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I will catch you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.